You're always such a fan of seeing something. Why? Why isn't he seeing this? Why? Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond Fan, and I'm once again rejoined by my lovely girlfriend, Lirit. Hi! <laughs> We're back for another movie reaction, and today we are watching 1973's Live and Let Die. So, previously, um, we started watching the Bond movies of the 70s, and not unlike me, you also thought Diamonds Are Forever was the worst Bond film you ever saw. Well, um, I saw it back when you like edited uh, everything and I gave uh, Diamonds Are Forever um, a little bit less stars. Yeah, you pretty much gave everything one star yes. but Henry, or um, I think, something like that. Because I saw myself a lot of like laughing and everything and that's enjoyment and I gave I think enjoyment one star. So you think you might have been too harsh on it a little bit? Yes. Okay so we, we can't really change it anymore now I mean it is but if, if you could well, would you give it higher now maybe in retrospect? I think two and a half. Two and a half star yes. okay. So she came back that she enjoyed it a little bit more watching it back and she saw that she laughed a lot more at it. Speaking of laughing at Bond movies, we've now entered the Roger Moore era and you know from the 70s already the tone is a little bit less serious, it's a, it's a bit more cartoony, yes, a bit more you asked wacky. Yes, the, the last time. Yes. Right. Roger Moore, um, you don't know anything about him pretty no, much. Uh, nothing. He is the James Bond that played in the most official Bond movies, okay. seven Bond movies. So I hope you're gonna like him because you'll be seeing a lot of him in the next couple of episodes. Um, and we're gonna start with Live and Let Die. Uh, so <laughs> have you seen Roger Moore on pictures or do you know what he looks like or <clears throat> not even well, that? I saw the other day a picture of him, but I totally forgot. <laughs> so you have no clue, really? So No, I don't have a clue how he's acting or who he is. Nothing? Nothing. Maybe in other movies, I, maybe if I see him, I would like, oh my god, he, he plays in that movie, but I don't think so. Okay, so this is pretty much as blind of a movie reaction as it gets. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna be jumping into Live and Let Die soon. As always, if you are interested in seeing the full-length unedited reaction, you can jump on to my Patreon page and all premium supporters can see the full-length reaction there and watch it synchronized uh, with their copy of the movie. <laughs> So, without any further and ado... I will oh. not eat that much as the last time. People weren't too bothered by it, but they were no. just wondering, what, what's he eating this? What's it was eating? cake! Yeah, they were cake. <laughs> but I, I uh, sliced it in like little pieces. <laughs> you, you can really see she's been watching back an episode this time. She usually never I watches never, it. I uh, never see one of my... What do you say Reactions. Reactions back. This is the first time I saw it back. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we're going to be jumping into Live and Let Die. Oh, it's another kind of... Uh, it's faster. Very different music, right? It's faster. It's a completely different With, uh, uh, composer as well. Yeah. This is... Um, and he was like standing like this. Yeah. George Martin does the music, only this movie, so hey, it has New a York. Unique, unique soundtrack. New York, yes. <gasps> they just killed him. Yeah. With a high, way. high tone or something. Yeah, like a high-pitched death. Yeah. Where's this? New Orleans. New Orleans, yes. <clears throat> There's someone dead. Who's that? Is it CIA or something? 
Whose uh, funeral is it? Yours. <gasps> And they put the casket on him. <laughs> Just like that movie on the beach with the ice box with Zach Efron. Oh, Baywatch. Yeah. It's a weird tradition, right? In New Orleans, they dance on a funeral. It's mostly black people. Ritual. It's like a voodoo cult. That's a fake snake. Is it? Look better. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I think it's real. So three people have been killed. Do you know the song? You sang it all week long. Live and let die. No, just today. No. Yesterday and the day before yesterday. Do you recognize the, the singer? It's Paul McCartney from the Beatles. Okay. That's him. That's him. M? Mm-hmm. Not married by any chance, are you? It's a different M. No, it's the same one. Oh, it's the same. Good morning, 007. Good morning. But now he's coming to his home instead of going to the office. Hmm? He's going to his home yeah. instead of to his office. That James Bond has to go to his office. That's strange. Yeah, that's just. This is one of the only times you see his house. Like in Dr. No, this movie, Inspector, you saw his house. But that's where it. is she? I think these killings are connected. Hiding. That's a real coffee maker. Small island in the Caribbean called San Monique. Look at that! Yeah. Wow! Is that all it does? <laughs> well, the authorities were more than helpful. They're, they are all coming? There's one small complaint. They see but he has the hair the same like Connery. A little bit, yeah. He has lighter hair. I want to have that that rope as well. He has JB on here. Mm. But you have VD also. I am JB. VD doesn't come. <laughs> Such a big touch. She a magnetism, man. Pan Am! Yep. A man comes. Who's this? Notice the back of the card. It says 007. It's like an Easter egg. Oh, yeah. I love the way he's dressed in, the, in this scene. <coughs> Great suit. It's Hello? Cool. <laughs> Just a light out for you, sir. There's something happening with the white car. They're going to shoot. Well, it was pretty predictable when one car pulls up in yes, a bar movie. That's you know true. something's gonna happen. Time eleven forty six. This is the bad guy. That's the guy they're uh, monitoring, Mr. Kananga. This is the guy who yeah. killed. Where is this going? That's the car! Yeah. My friend David Saritsky and his and some of his Bond friends recently visited that place in New York, that shop and that underground. Oh, uh, and? 
They made a video about it, walking in that garage. And they're coming out of the elevator. <laughs> How did I know that? And they went inside this thing as well, just okay. to stand there. And but it the shop does, is also, It actually does go but there. But the shop is still there? No, it's not a, a voodoo shop uh, anymore. It's just something else now. Hey, man. For 20 bucks, I'll take you to a Ku Klux Klan cookout. <laughs> Those side beers. Yeah. <laughs> Very 70s, right? Harlem, you know Harlem, right? It's like the black community in New York. 125th, you got a honky on your tail. Did you know the... They have spotters everywhere. Yeah. That's the same store as in New Orleans. Yeah, also a fillet or so, so you're right. Well spotted. He seems particularly white. <laughs> this was one of the questions I got on the quiz on James Bond Radio. What was on the wall? Oh, really? Yeah, I, I had no idea. <laughs> I did have cheeseburger correct, but I also had to guess the prices. No, no, no idea. Uh, what? That booth was turning. Yeah. Miss. Solitaire. My name's Bond. James Bond. And you can't be too careful in New York City. Yes, yes. Whoa. <laughs> He's like Captain Hook. Yeah. Send it over. <laughs> you have found yourself. Death. Us? Now, I promise you'll stay right there. I, I shan't be long. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Yeah, right. Stop it. For those of you who speak French, Buddha God of Cemeteries and Chief of the Legion of the Dead, the man who cannot die. Like Tarzan. Yes, Mr. Bond, of course. Mrs. Bond has been expecting you. Mrs. Mrs. Bond? She arrived earlier this afternoon, sir. An incurable romantic, Mrs. Bond. <laughs> That's weird, right? <laughs> Such a fan of scenes. Why? Like why isn't he seeing this? Why? Oh, that's the bad guy. That's the hunchman. Mm -hmm. And now the lights are out. Oh, that's the girl. Ah! Her hair. Mrs. Bond, I presume? <laughs> There's a mirror in the bathroom. But the snake is still lying dead there. My first was Baines, the agent who was killed. It's a relief to know I'm next in line for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
What's that? It's a hat. With a feather. A bloody feather. Oh, it's a, a voodoo. It's a warning. Get it out of here! She's one of the most annoying Bond girls, I think. Good morning. Come on, Rosie, this one seems eager enough. I like her shoes. I the didn't see them. The wet, uh, the white one. Mm. <coughs> Rosie Carver, meet the man who shares my hairbrush. Quarrel Junior. Who's Quarrel? Remember Quarrel? Oh, from Doctor No. Right. I said, is it death? It yes. is death. She's lying. But uh, I thought you said Baines was killed up in the hills, darling. Up in the hills down there. She's lying. What was that, a monkey? <laughs> no, it was a voodoo oh. doll thing. Kind of part of this movie, the whole voodoo vibe. <clears throat> and I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> but you couldn't. You wouldn't. Not after what we just done. I certainly wouldn't have killed you before. But now. <laughs> She's falling or something. Ah, oh, she's dead. Where is Bard now? She's always wearing like extravagant clothes. Yeah, it's like part of the mystic powers, I think. He's already flying in the air. With a cigar like a badass. Do you know, fun fact, she is the actress that played, you know the Lazenby documentary we watched? Mm -hmm. And Lazenby was meeting that agent, that older woman, that was her. Okay. Jane Seymour. Not to lose it, I myself will take it away. You know how to take the powers away? No. She's a virgin. And as soon as he sleeps with someone, she loses the powers. Mm -hmm. So that's why he... So at the end she will sleep with James Bond. <laughs> I forgot about that part. He's just turning his jacket around. Yeah. I mean, really believe in the cards. Well, they have never lied to me. Once again. He looks like uh, how it's, uh, Sean Connery. He does? Like my idea of James Bond. But she well. can't kiss him, right? Because all her powers will be Kissing left. is, but having sex will look. <laughs> but now she has. Did you see that? Yes, or? darling. Sorry, now she has. But now she doesn't have any powers. This is a good time, I bet. I've lost it. It's wife to the prince, no longer of this world. <laughs> Bond's face. Yeah, he's thinking with his dick. <laughs> She's wearing bright orange. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of her clothes though now in this scene? And now she's like not extra. It's more um, normal, right? It's more normal. That's the the bus from Harry Potter. Yeah. Prisoners of Azkaban's <laughs> opening. <laughs> it's similar. What are they doing? <laughs> so strange. He's only like turning. Yeah. No brain. 
Twitch. Oh my god. He is just driving. And then the upper part of the bus is uh, gonna fall off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're Not right. Yet. They did it for real as well. It's all over. It's not over. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's the guy from New York again. He's going to fly. A lot of plane damage. Yeah. He's <laughs> going straight ahead. Holy shit. Same time tomorrow, Mrs. Bell? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Again. Yeah. I got a nice booth over here just against the wall. <laughs> because. The first time the wall changed. Yeah. But nobody in the bar sees that. Yeah, he's just gone like that. <laughs> in fact, if I were you, That's I'd armor. watch my step from now on. Shame you said that in Dutch. <laughs> Oh, she predicted it. I predicted the... Uh, how do you call that? The, the cuffs. Arm, the, the cuffs, yeah. Right. I knew it. It was fake. Yeah. He is Kananga. Yeah. But to me it's like not that much of a big reveal because I was like, oh, I thought he was the same person in the first place. Is this a surprise to you? No, but I knew it was Quite like revealing. fake. Hmm. There is one thing, however, the <laughs> They're always knocked out so easily in all mm -hmm. the movies. In one proper turn. <laughs> <laughs> Strange movie. Stranger than diamonds are forever. Even stranger than diamonds? That smile. It's cringy. Ugh. And I mean tonight. This is the heroin. Yeah. Mr. Bond. In fact, uh, quite a few thousand. I've seen those in Thailand and in Mexico. In the wild? Uh, in Mexico in the wild and in Thailand in, in the zoo. Well, I was rather counting on that. There are two ways to disable a crocodile, you know. <laughs> Why is he walking away from him? Always then. I, uh, I don't suppose you care to share that information with me? He's going to jump on the crocodiles. real crocodiles as well. They're not fake, the ones they jumped on. Can't use the boat. Nope. And there's the crocodile. Look at that. Yeah. He's going to jump on them. It's impressive, right? may have been, even though you only saw it briefly, they did it for real and it went wrong a few times Ooh. when they did it. Is it the crocodile or the alligator? I think it's a bit of both because they, they said he's a croc and I think it's... it's Because do you know the difference between alligators and crocodiles? No, but he I said think it's in the, the he mouth. He said the, uh, the nose or the mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, crocodiles I think have more of a different snout and like a less teeth or something or the other way around <laughs> wow two billion or what was it a lot of money 
You mother! <laughs> you got a lot of chasing uh, scenes in this movie. Yeah. The bus, and the car, and now with the boat. <clears throat> yeah. And less fighting. Not that much fighting yet. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Yeah, right. Oh, this is real. This is real. Okay. I got me a regular Ben Hur down here. Doing 95 minimum. The stereotypical racist uh, Louisiana state police cops. <clears throat> Are they going over them? Yeah, right, that's helping. To tap it. <laughs> He's going straight to him. <laughs> yeah, right, but that will help. Here they go. They will go straight through. Yep. Yeah. They use like little wooden boats. Yeah. Damn river! Billy Bob show no fix the ass! Ah, here comes Billy Bob! Why are those people in this movie? It's so strange. I know, I agree. It's like too uh, tacky. It's a bit, a bit of a long boat chase, right? Yeah. I think the thing that's missing is music. Music, explosions, everything. Uh, it's a pretty deep. Oh, here's the music. It's not that bad, actually, but I like these shots from here. <laughs> They're going to get wet. Wet oh, no. and wet with a D and a T. <laughs> to get on fire well you asked for explosions hey <laughs> finally oh the whole boat but how how did he pour, Where's the detonator? Did he pour gasoline in there? On his face. But how? But there was an explosion, like you asked. This is so strange. This is a strange movie. Our cults like these really exist. I really don't have words for this. A little strange. They're going to blow up the heroin fields. It's the same guy though. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. Was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, for sharks. But that's strange. His uh, watch is like magnetic and uh, only that thingy he can get. Everything in the near range. Yes. But everything there is magnetic. 
Really? Silver. Look at that. Oh, Everything. Yeah, but a lot of it is heavy. It certainly, there was certainly more metal stuff around. Yes. I wish my watch could do that. Why? But to get out of a situation like this, if I ever am in a situation with this with you, then we can be free. He's going to die. Ninga in the water. Oh, but believe me, you're not going to predict how he's going to die. The shark. Oh, with that thing. He's blow, uh, He's going to blow up. Like that uh, couch. I was right. But why is there no blood? And yeah, like, that's like all his, uh, all his uh, insides? Yeah. It's just air. Uh, I feel that's the worst villain death. I always said so. Mm -hmm. in, in the whole franchise. It's yeah. like Char Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where the guy oh, yes. It. She's going to die. Lock the door as well on your way up, would you, James? Oh, it's always so afraid that it was <gasps> in the past. Now I know there's no chance of that anyway. It's the whole arm as yeah. well that's metal. <clears throat> You already said it, right? Yeah, from the crocodile. I knew it. Taking the trash out. <laughs> Just being disarming, darling. Disarming. Hey, but... <laughs> What's an open book? It's a very strange movie. <laughs> so, he he was in a coffin with the snakes, and then in the end he's like, ha 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 ha, fuck all logic, in the end. It's really weird to me. But I think it's symbolizing, like, death is always part of Bond. Sort of. So, that was <laughs> Live and Let Die. What did you think? <laughs> well, <laughs> it was just as bad as Time Down Forever. <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe even worse. <laughs> it, it didn't really go up for you at all from no, here. I okay. hope it will, because otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have a tough time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's just get into it and uh, hopefully we can get some positive stuff out of this. Yeah. Um, starting with Roger Moore's debut as James Bond 007. Yes. Uh, you've got six more Roger Moore Bond movies to go, so I hope you, you liked his take on how he plays Bond. What did you think of Roger Moore and what did you rate him? Um, I gave him three stars. Okay, fair. Um, he didn't fight very much in this movie. Right. It was only chasing. And he was the laid back yeah. as the other ones. Yeah. Because uh, Sean Connery and how, what's his name? George Lazenby. George Lazenby, they were all in the in the front. They were more physical too. Yes, and in the front, like mainly. And um, this one was quiet. Uh, everything came and went. Yeah, he's more uh, humorous yeah. and stuff. He's uh, that kind of vibe I got from him. I think you're pretty correct on uh, Roger Moore. There, you'll see throughout his movies that this is the style he goes by a, okay. a lot. Uh, he also he grows more into the role. You'll see, especially by his third movie, mm -hmm. that you truly see like, oh yeah, he's he's the James Bond of that period. Um, you, maybe you've noticed he deliberately did things very differently to Connery. Like he smoked cigars instead of cigarettes. Yep. He, he didn't uh, order a, a vodka martini shake oh, and not yes! stir it in this movie. Yes. But he took the bourbon with ice. So he that those were deliberate choices oh, that I he made. Oh, I didn't saw that. Yeah. Okay. 
So that's the, that's because he wanted to be like a different Bond. Mm -hmm. um, but the other <coughs> Bonds do the shaken nut stir. Yeah, and and spoiler, you will see him do that later on. But especially in his first mo fir mo uh, first movie, he made an effort to try and be different to Connery. Okay. Um, and you'll see uh, how that plays out in the, the next movies coming up from Roger Moore. There's six more to go from him, so <laughs> you'll, you'll see a lot more. But he did the hair the same. Kind of, similar to Connery. But I think he, you said somewhere in the movie that he, he reminded you of Connery, yeah. even though he looks very different. I don't know, he's the same type of guy. He's not blonde. But he does have brown hair. Yes. Do you think Roger Moore is younger or older than Connery? Is this a trick question? I'm just asking, what do you I think? I think he's older. He is. He's three years older than Connery. But I feel, <laughs> at this point at least, he looked a lot younger than Connery looked in Diamonds Are Forever. Yeah. So he was more youthful looking. At yeah. this point, you'll see Roger Moore age as well as we get through his movies. Okay. But he looked very young in uh, Live and Let Die, I feel. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the Bond girls of this movie. Yes. Um, I think I will shock everyone. <laughs> what did you rate them or her if you're just going with Solitaire? Well, there were two. Right. Um, what were their names? Solitaire and Rosie Carver. Yes. Um, I gave them one star. Really? Yeah. Ah. yeah. That one hurts a little bit more than the one for Tiffany Case. Because Tiffany Case I can see. But why? Why? Why one they star? They were bad. <laughs> Even Solitaire? Yeah. She's beautiful, but she was bad. <laughs> and in what way did you think she was bad? Like, uh, like her acting? Or? Well, I didn't get that, whoa, she's a Bond girl kind of factor. Okay, and so in your opinion, they, need to, they always need to be like strong or is that no, the No, not strong, but hmm. I don't know. That's, it's like a glow from the Bond girls. And for you, she didn't have that factor maybe? Only that she's beautiful, but that's it. Okay, so more of a window dressing bond for girl for you, maybe, in solitaire. Was there anything you did like about her character? Well, I mean, she was very different to anything you've seen before. With the voodoo and the cards? Yeah. That she predict the future? Okay, so no, you, you, you can't really find anything positive about her at all? What else? No, I'm just asking you. It's your... Hey, this is your... <laughs> okay, so only no, one star sorry, for Solitaire, I'm sorry to say, no. guys. And the other one. And she Rosie was Carver. Also. I agree with Rosie Carver, who I think, luckily she's not a main Bond girl, but she's one of the worst female characters in the series. But in the uh, other movies who are coming up, are all the Bond girls like... These two last one, like times a little, a bit of a bimbo, so you mean like brainless, or what do you mean? Yeah, without brains, only beautiful. I disagree with Solitaire. I do find her a, a, an interesting Bond girl, but um, interesting. She's thrown cards, and what? Okay, see, we we don't agree on Solitaire, but <laughs> she's um, beautiful. Yes, I know she's beautiful. Let me let me work. tell you that uh, I, I won't spoil too much about the man with the golden gun because you might not necessarily like the Bond girls in there either. But I can <laughs> spoil to you, uh, there are definitely a lot of strong female characters They're going to fight. coming up in the Roger Moore movies as well. They're going to fight. Uh, there's definitely f fighting involved. Bond girls, you'll Cause see. Because I see Bond girls like helping him, fighting with him, plotting with him, yeah. using their beautifulness to uh, fight with the bad guys. These last two movies, they didn't. No. They just laid in bed, uh, the bed closes, and that's it. Yeah. She didn't uh, um, try to get out of it and fight with Bond, with the bad guy. Yeah, so like I said, you, you were kind of hoping for more strong female characters. Yes, and more with brains. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely girls like that coming up um, in future Bond, Roger Moore movies, but there's also definitely 
a bit of the brainless ones coming up too. So you'll see a bit of both in the Roger Moore movies appear. But there's definitely strong ones you're, you're yes. going to like. That Does are that one with the CIA? Uh, what's her name? Rosie Carver. Rosie Carver. She's just like that. And you work for the CIA. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like for the CIA, if you want to get in there, you have to be badass. And yeah, I, I, I can't argue so with that So that's why they got both one star from yeah, me. Yeah, I see that. Moving on to the Bond villains of this movie. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kananga, who also turned out to be Mr. Big, but there's also Whisper and Teehee and Baron Samadhi, so there's a lot of villains. <laughs> what did you think of the villains? I gave them also one star. Really? The villains as well? <clears throat> okay, tell, tell us about your rating for the villains. I have nothing with voodoo. I have nothing with tarot cards, so it was very strange for me to watch this, especially for a Bond movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, I it's a very different the action. Tone. I missed the guns. I missed the explosions. It's all in the last scenes. You saw the explosions and the guns, and I I didn't saw any of that. It it was for me a very different James Bond movie. And that applies um, to the villains for you as well. Yes, they all did it with the voodoo and the voodoo dolls and the snakes. And that kind of Not really up your course. alley. No. I think you also saw me throughout the movie like, okay, I have nothing to say. Right. Uh, that's a shame. I, I, I hoped that maybe you would think um, because the past three Bond movies all had Blofeld as a villain. That that's you true. Finally there's, had someone else. there's another one who was also bad. Yeah. That's true, and one of them, the arm was gone, gossip for an alligator or a crocodile, and the other one was whisper because he couldn't talk very loudly. And there was Mr. Big. Who was Kananga? Yeah, and was that the Prime Minister or what? Uh, Dr. Kananga was like the president of San Monique, the fictional Caribbean island. Oh, yes. And then Mr. Big was like a, a, a gangster in Harlem in New York, but that was his alter ego. He was the same person. Mm -hmm. So he just used two powers to get the heroin distributed and stuff. But okay, another one star. Let's hope we get a little bit more on the locations. Yeah. We do. How much did you give the locations? Two. Two stars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of North American locations, New York, New Orleans, San Monique, the yeah. Caribbean. Uh, any comments on the locations? Um, New York and um, New Orleans, great. But San Monique? It's fictional, of course. Yes. But you have a lot of islands there yeah. to choose from and you choose fictional islands. Yeah, I think they didn't want to make it political if they choose Haiti and to make it like as if it's about their president. So they had to make okay. it fictional, I think. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, okay. But they were on. Uh, they were on two different islands, or how do I have to see that? Uh, the the last couple of parts were on Saint Monique, I think, and. New Orleans was where a lot of the forests and yes, swamps but, were. But they were like in Tennessee? No, Louisiana. Louisiana. But New Orleans is in Louisiana. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. It was very... Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of North American locations. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the story. Two stars. Another two stars. What did you think of the story? Um, I was open-minded at first, but then throughout the movie I was like, this is taking too long. <laughs> and sometimes I didn't keep up with the story. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, shame. It can happen. I mean, sometimes you really are into a movie. Like I remember You Only Live Twice was one where you really couldn't start that one you really enjoyed. 
Goldfinger as well, surprisingly, the second time, but this one a um, little bit less. Yeah. It happens. Okay. <coughs> Um, any more comments on the story or should we move yeah, on? Yeah, what were the people with the white clothes? Were they also on San Monica Island or...? You mean like the cult? Yes. I think so, yeah. It's like a voodoo cult thing. Yeah. Stuff like that uh, exists in real life, but obviously you can tell we're not really into that stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm the same actually, <laughs> so I'm not really the biggest fan of this movie myself either. Um, but... I was expecting, in my prediction in my head, that the, the one thing you would have the biggest problem with, and you turned out to not have a problem with at all, was when Bond used the deck of cards to sleep with Solitaire to take her virginity. And I was like, that's the part that Solitaire, that you really are not going to like. But you didn't, you didn't mind that bit. Oh, the deck of cards with all the same cards. Yeah, he used it to trick her to have sex with her. Yeah, but then he to asked... To take her virginity. Yeah, but then he asked her, where is that guy? And she was like, uh, like, mumbling words and everything. And he was like, oh my God, just tell me. But if he just listened to her, she said to him, like, you... I got my virginity, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I, I have no powers anymore, so I cannot tell you. I know, I know, I just figured... So it's his own fault. I just f f predicted, like, you would have problems with Bond doing something like that. Well, but is there also her choice, right? That's true. I'm glad, she, I'm glad I have she, a, a she, like al this. she already did, uh, took the card twice. Yeah, so it was <clears> bound to happen. Pretty much, he just well, sped up I the thought process. in the end, but it was sooner. sooner. Yeah. Okay, uh, that brings us to your enjoyment of this movie. Uh, what did you give it? Uh, one star. Sadly, just like diamonds, another one star for your enjoyment. Uh, I hope you still got something out of the movie. Yes, um, I think I laughed. Few times few that you enjoyed. Times Mm, but uh, the last scene I didn't understand mm, with the guy who blew up in the water. Yeah, that's the way, that's one of the the, the worst villain deaths in the series. I and agree. And the boat who exploded in another boat. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the big explosion. Yes. Okay, so overall. So. <laughs> That brings your score of Live and Let Die to 1.6 and we always round it up. So that's two stars for Live and Let Die, bringing it just above Diamonds of Forever. Are you okay with that? It being a little bit above Diamonds? Yes, but I came back for Diamonds. Yeah, so maybe you would maybe switch it around. Maybe will uh, get a tie. <laughs> if, if, we, if we do a new ranking, you might change your mind on that, but... So that's I hope it get better with uh, what's his name? Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Well, this is not his. I mean, you liked his performance, so at least that doesn't say anything about him. Um, I have big confidence that you may enjoy the man with the golden gun more, because uh, I do, <laughs> and uh, I definitely have confidence in the spy who loved me coming after that one, uh, being one of Roger Moore's best films. So, let's hope uh, Leerit gets some more enjoyment and especially higher ratings uh, in the next couple of Bond movies coming up. <laughs> Starting with The Man with the Golden Gun next time. So, we hope you once again enjoyed regardless and see you guys in the next movie reaction. Bye!